Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. When we're living our lives, we have friends, we have relatives, we have children, we have people we work with. Some of these people become best friends, some people become closer to us, camaraderies, comrades, or they become people that we rely on for strength and, you know, just mentoring sometimes. Here's the problem. Sometimes when we have good friends, we get so enmeshed in their life, it's almost like we have to take care of them. And that becomes a codependent relationship. They be, depend on us to take care of them, and we depend on ourselves to be the one who has to take care of them. And what happens is, boundaries cross, we cloud our importance, and also we neglect ourself. And sometimes we become so enmeshed in helping other people, we literally let ourself go. I had a wonderful email of the many I get yesterday that I just want to share a little bit. I won't say who this is, but this person wants to go on the cruise. They say it sounds like a lifetime opportunity. They really want to go. They say they're not sure if they're going to be able to do it, though, because of the time limitations on themselves and their responsibilities. And my answer to that person is, is, first of all, we have to understand with our responsibilities and our time limitations, whether it's with our friends, the people we love and we're attempting to help, or somebody at work, we're the one doing the work. We're the one that's responsible for taking care of our life. And sometimes, in order to take care of a car, you have to maintain it. And as I told this young person, that in order for you to take care of yourself, sometimes you have to act in faith and just decide you're going to do it. Not for selfish reasons of indulgence, but for reasons of maintaining yourself, maintaining your sanity, maintaining who you are, so you have proper boundaries with the people you work with, with the people that you care about. It's really easy to get mixed up in other people's stuff and take it on yourself and take responsibility for their happiness. You're responsible for your happiness with this person that wants to go on this cruise, and I'm sure there's many people that feel that way. In fact, when we were deciding to do this cruise, I told George that I'm not so sure now's the time. And he reminded me that there's no better time because now is now. And on this cruise, it's not just play. I'm going to give a couple of seminars. But this isn't a promo for the cruise right now. This is a promo for you. If there's something in life that you want to do, and it's going to refresh you and renew you, and it's going to make you feel good, and it's something you want to do to take care of you, to refurbish yourself to service that car it's your responsibility to do it it's not indulgent we all work really hard we all are working really hard right now me included it's not unusual for me to put in a 15 to a 16 hour day and I can do it and I love it however we all got to rest as well because eventually we'll wear down and we're effectiveness our effectiveness becomes less and less so today, if you want to go on the cruise, then commit to it and go. And what's going to happen, your inner conscious mind will start aligning behaviors, patterns, opportunities, and start seeing things that will make it so. If you want to buy a new house, now that the opportunity is there for many people that hasn't been there before, commit to it, and all of a sudden, your subconscious mind will find the resources, the way to put it together. But if you vacillate, if you vacillate on the things that you want to do, like take a class or go someplace that you've always wanted to, but there just isn't time and we just haven't got the money, that kind of thinking is going to keep you stuck right where you are. Step outside the box, commit to it, and trust. And you know what? The universe will provide. It's not magic falling out of the air. It'll provide because you're the provider. It will give you the energy, the insight, and the information, and the intelligence to make it so. Take care of yourself. You're the one doing the work. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary asking you to really, really make this an extraordinary day. Bye-bye.